Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series, facilitated by renowned educators. ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. So, so the, the, um, what, I what I want to look at here, here is we also have to consider the, uh, the, uh, the delta uh, of, of the net, net position as well. As well. And, and the delta of the option contract refers to how much an option premium will increase with, with every one-point one move in the underlying, underlying security. security. So, so what, what happens is when we create a spread, we actually lower the net delta as well. So what, so what happens is the spread will not profit as typically expected with, with the move in the underlying pair value. value. And what I mean by that, if, if we take a look at the UI once again, You'll, You'll see that, that the put option, and incidentally, the uh, um, uh, put option deltas are always going to be negative, but this, but this is suggesting that, that, that for every one-point drop in the EUI, our put option should increase 40 cents, so almost 41 cents. Now, that would be um, all ours to keep if we just simply had that put option. But, but if you, if you take, take a look at the 72 and a half put, you'll, you'll recognize that the delta down there is actually 20.21. So what we've done is we've offset the net delta to a point where that move is only going to net us a 20 cent profit on the position. So what I run into quite often, again, are people take you know, take advantage of the um, of the spread strategy. Then they get a really quick move in the underlying security, the underlying pair value, and they cannot understand why they're not profiting as much. Well, we we have to understand that every time we create these spreads, all of the different variables are seeking to offset one another, which. In, 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 in really, really in, the, in the very sort of principles behind utilizing a spread, 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 spread that's, that's what, what we're, we're after. after. The, the focus, focus is trying to offset an expensive option contract, in which, in which case we're creating, creating that volatility neutral strategy. strategy. But, but that, that comes with cost, cost and that means that we cannot expect the underlying uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the spread to benefit as significantly as if we were just holding the the, uh, the, the, the put a call option on its uh, on its own. So in this case, the short option delta reduces the influence of the move. Instead of a forty point uh, forty point six seven, the influence of influence of a one point change value is twenty point four six. And again, we have to note that in, that the uh, a long put has a negative delta, and of course a long call has a positive delta. So so as a result. A debit, a debit spread, spread will not reach its, its full potential until expiration. This is something that we have to uh, recognize. It is, it is inevitable. It is as good as written in stone that you will not recognize the full potential of your spread strategy unless you hold it until expiration. Okay? And this will only occur if the underlying pair value is at the written strike or in uh, the, 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 the money. Okay? The reason, the reason is that, that at that point, all of the time value will have disappeared. All of the implied volatility um, uh, uh, premium that was uh, factored into the option contract will have disappeared. disappeared and, you and you will only be left with the intrinsic value of your long call option, and then of course, or your long put option, and then of course, when you when you subtract the the, the intrinsic value out of your short call or your short put then that's, that's going to leave you with that, that spread differential that, that you created, and your profits are, are of course, the spread minus the premium uh, that, that you paid. So, so we, have we have to understand that, that, that we can close, close the spread out at any time before expiration. And a lot of times... You know, you know, individuals, individuals will say, well, 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 you know what, I want to keep holding this. I want to, you know, know uh, I'm not going to recognize my full profit until expiration, so I want to hold it as long as I can. can. We have to understand that the spread strategy is still subjected to that directional bias. So, in other words, if we have that put spread in, put spread in place, and for the first couple of weeks of the spread, the underlying security is going down in our favor and we're making money, we have to understand that as soon as that, that underlying 
uh, uh, pair value, value turns, turns around, around and goes against us, against us. we're going to start, start losing on that spread as well. And, and so we want to make sure that we're managing the lock in profits, not, not so much looking to capture that, that, that full, uh, full benefit of the spread. Now, now there, there are certain considerations that we can make. You know, you know, in the event that, that uh, let's, let's say, the uh, the, the, the pair value has significantly exceeded our written uh, uh, strike, well, that simply means that we, we have time to sit back and wait for uh, time to pass by. And every we have to understand that every every um, uh, dollar or every point in intrinsic value that an in-the-money option contract uh, generates that actually offsets the, the risk of or the depreciation of time value. So the, the, the way that this spread works is that the more intrinsic value our long call or our long put generates, the less influence it is, it, it is on the... The less, the less it's influenced on a day-to-day -day day basis on uh, on that uh, passage of time, but of course the written strike ideally is still out of the money or just simply at the money, so that rate of time depreciation accelerates. So what we say is that you do have to give these spreads a time to widen out, but understand that you will never recognize your full profit until the uh, until the actual expiration date is upon us. And remember, of course, that these ISDFX options are all cash settled. In, uh, in U.S. US dollars. So we don't have to worry about uh, about taking on any sort of an underlying security. The spread will be settled out for the difference between the strike we bought and the strike we sold. Okay. So just to uh, summarize this here before we take a few more questions, uh, the benefit of a, of, of a debit spread is that it's going to reduce the break-even point of our trade, okay, which allows us to profit uh, sooner. It's also, it's also going, going to reduce the potential loss if the pair moves inversely, but we, but we do, of course, lose upside potential beyond the sold strike. strike. So that has to be a trade-off that we're prepared to take. And, of, of course, course uh, finally, if you want any more information uh, on uh, this or any of the other strategies or, or if you want to review some of the other webinars that are posted as recordings, you can simply visit www.fxoptions.com, and uh, you'll find a wealth of tools there. It's a fantastic site. If you want a little bit more insight into uh, the dynamics of this particular market and how you could uh, bring them into your portfolio to trade your currency views. Uh, this is a uh, fantastic site to do so. Uh, so on that note, I'm happy to take any questions as it sits right now. I haven't really been seeing any uh, questions rolling into the chat box. So, Lauren, I'm not sure if, um, if uh, yeah, so it looks like yeah, you're more or less having to uh, send them over my way. So the um, one question that just came in is, are the puts American or European style exercise? So we have to understand that, that there is no deliverable for these particular, particular options. options. So, so what, what that, that means, means is is, is um, nobody, nobody is going, going to exercise their right and force you to deliver anything before that expiration date. European-style exercise, which is essentially what these options are, means that they are not exercisable until expiration. And again, because there is no underlying security to change hands, the, the positions, positions are simply cash settled, settled in, in U.S. US dollars, dollars, okay? And that, and that goes, goes for both calls and puts. So again, cash settled in US, U.S. dollars, so you can write puts, and you understand that you cannot be forced to cover that position uh, by anybody else other than you just following a, uh, a risk management protocol that you set out for yourself uh, in the event that you find yourself on the wrong side of it. But you can hold an in-the-money written put option or you, or you can have, have an in-the-money written, written put option out there until expiration, and at the time of expiration, it will only be cash settled for the loss, um, uh, which uh, for at a loss, which is the difference between the put you've written and the uh, and of course the settlement rate, uh, uh, such as it is on that particular uh, expiration uh, date. Uh, any other questions, uh, folks? As we um, as we wrap things up here today, I think I may have. Uh, so, so another, another question, question here, are there a weeklies or monthlies only? only? So at this point, we're looking at, uh, at um, monthly expiration, uh, ex monthly expiring option contracts, uh, 
Uh, and now, now I'm not sure what the ISE has in the works. works uh, at, this at this point, they're always coming up with some uh, 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 great, fantastic new products to trade. So uh, that would be something that uh, you might want to, a question you might want to pose to the folks at the, at the exchange. Uh, but as it stands right now, uh, we're looking at just uh, monthly expiring option contracts for us to uh, us be utilized. All right, well, it looks like there's no more questions. So, Jason, we just wanted to thank you again for uh, presenting today, and thank you to everybody else for coming today. Uh, if you do have any questions after the webinar, you can feel free to email us at webinars at isc.com. Um, actually, Jason, I see one more email, uh, one more question that's coming up. If you want to grab that one. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, just uh, it's actually, uh, uh, I believe I answered that already. The question is, are these European contracts? Yes, they are. European style exercise, uh, which means quite simply that, um, that if you are somebody that is writing the option contracts, you don't have to worry about uh, being assigned on that written contract. They are not settled until the expiration date, in which case they are cash settled for the difference between the strike price and uh, the settlement value of the particular uh, uh, currency pair based on the spot market rate at noon on uh, on the Friday. Uh, so it, it actually becomes a very, very powerful market to, to, to trade or a very, very powerful product to trade, uh, again, because you don't have to worry about... Uh, about um, Again, getting assigned if, if you are the options uh, options writer. So they uh, and then no worries, uh, but they are um, they are European style exercise. Cash settled for the uh, for the difference. Okay, so there aren't, uh, there aren't any other questions. I just wanted to uh, uh, thank everybody for uh, for joining this evening. Sorry about the little technical difficulty at the beginning of the session. Hopefully, you guys have found this informative. And uh, make sure that you check out the fxoptions.com site for uh, uh, the uh, the next upcoming webinar. And of course, if you want any more information about us and what we do, please visit optionsource.net. So thanks, folks, and uh, thanks again to the ISC for uh, bringing me on board uh, today. Bye bye. Great. Thanks again. Bye bye. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.